Papa, you're the face of death. What does the doctor say? <coughs> Do not worry, ma chérie. It is only... <coughs> Papa! <coughs> my dear love, Do not frown so. Between your worry and your stepmother's tonic, the malady hurts less than the cure. <laughs> ah. Oh, Jeanne. You were always so protective of that locket. I have always regretted. Papa, I'm not... Why did you leave? I would have married you if I could. You know, my arrangement with Madeleine was his business. She convinced me. If the law was different, how can you ever forgive me? I don't know, Papa. Evelyn, I am sorry for interrupting, but I need your assistance. It is urgent. Of course. I love you, Papa. <laughs> There is a slave, George. I promised him safe passage to the north, but during his escape he was discovered by soldiers. He hides, but... Please, is there anything you can do? With your business booming and your contacts in the bayou? Oui. I will get him to safety. In utmost discretion. George! Yes? Come with me! What? Hurry! They're closing in! On va finir par se blesser. Who are you? What are you? No one said anything about avenging angels or. Go! Find safety in the bayou! Wind's in our face! Fire! Fire! 
Give me half sail. I want everything. Unfurl everything. Full sail.
Ah, it's good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By guess and by guard, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. Sails ahoy! Two quarters! Two British quarters! We must protect her. until she reaches the vineyard pier! Fire. On my mark! We need to protect the civilian He's ship! going down! Fire! <laughs> on the vineyard.
That is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind saw to this. Templars. But what they intend, I do not know. Your orders? I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. What do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of. What are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewheres and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. That's worth a letter, to be sure. Here you go, Captain. doesn't look as abandoned as it should. Looks occupied as can be. I will need something to draw their attention then. Once you lose sight of me, wait for ten minutes, then bombard the fort. I will slip out under cover of the shelling. Aye, aye, sir. Sounds a trifle dangerous, but I'm sure you're up to it. I doubt they let convicted pirates like old Lucky Lem out of his cell much, so if his little scroll is anywhere, it's there. circle around to avoid the courtyard. Nah, it's probably a gull or a wreck. The only intruders we get here anyway. Preposterous. You send me across the ocean to play sentry on some meaningless isle. This is my last tour for a certainty. When I see the captain, I'll look him directly in the eyes and say, Sir, I am going home. I've had enough of these nonsense assignments.
time. We'll get the whip if we're late for the captain's address. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. deserved everything he got. You won't tolerate such behavior. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. He didn't mean anything but what he said. You get I just don't think he's right. under the eagle's bed. Hey, get him. Let's see what you got, Rebel. Captain. Those occupying the fort were less than thrilled by my presence. And? And what? The damned scroll, you muckworm. Was it there? That it was, Mr. Faulkner. <laughs> 